is this little SG1802 any good for the price? Half the price of say the CR18. Let's uh, let's hit the trail and find out. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we've got the little SG1802. Really nice little truck, I must admit. And it's right there in the budget category, sitting at about $50. It's got a Tower Pro fully proportional three-wire servo in there. We've got some uh, some soft tyres in there. We've got a 1855 motor, I believe, in there. Uh, Two-in-one 10 amp receiver and ESC. And yeah, we've got some bells and whistles on the controller. So uh, let's hit the trail and see how this little critter does. So I've been using this round the house to do some cushion crawling and uh, I'm pretty impressed with how it handles. Not a bad little modulation on it for the price. Like I did mention, this is half the price of say the CR18 and the Panda Hobbies. It's about a third of the price of the SCX24. And uh, yeah, really impressed. Let's throw it straight in at the deep end. Yeah, those wheels nice and wet. <laughs> so let's see how it does on the first incline. Really wet and slippery today. Hey hey. Not a little problem for the little SG. Fair play to it. I've uh, recently done a test video of the, the Panda Hobby Tetra K1 and we're going to be taking this little budget alternative on the, the same route as that. I'll uh, leave the video up in the top corner there for you guys to check that out and you can actually see for yourselves how these two can play out. So far I'm really impressed with this little, uh, this little rig's hand on the trail. myself a tree <laughs> here we go got to plan your route very carefully with these little trail trucks especially these little 118 scales a gap there somewhere between the roots covered by leaves today The Rocky River bed line has now become a fully fledged, a fully fledged scale river. <laughs> Lots of leaves, very wet and slippery today for this little critter. We'll see how it does. Come on! You see a little line through there. Now this steep incline. It's extremely muddy and slippery today. Lots of leaves. Let's see how this little uh, this little thing does. There's plenty of power there. Just not enough weight to put the traction down. There we go. Come on. Well done, SG. Very impressed. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's that slippery. I've just, I've just literally. Oh wow! I'm glad I caught that on camera for you guys. I'll leave that in. <laughs> oh, just fell over like a right fool. You know, it's, it's very slippery on the foot. So I'm very impressed that this little critter actually got up it, covered in mud. I'm still sliding now. Oh wow! Oh, that's one for the bloopers reel.
so far. For the price tag, I'm very impressed with this little critter. It's also got some uh, really cool little safety features. Um, it's got a little cut off, a little voltage cut off for when that, uh, that little uh, 7.4 volt light bulb gets, uh, gets low. It's also got a overheat protection and I think I read in the instructions it's got like a uh, a power protection as well so if if you've got like uh, two to three seconds of uh, not moving the ESC will cut out and, and save you from ripping up the gears and whatnot but yeah for the price tag I'm very impressed with this little, uh, this little rig straight out the box awesome fun Nice little line major, little scale stream. So we go way up it. We'll try not to fall over again, Liam. What a top ball. That, uh, that moss is proven to be pretty slippery today underfoot. Down the, uh, the technical tree section here. Yeah. Bit of wheel pop there. The friction dampers, they, uh, they handle very well indeed. I'll have to pick my route very carefully now on the other side of this as everything's been water log so to speak so normally I'll go straight across here I'm gonna have to take the left and then head back right to avoid the extremely deep water there we go there's always a way through Turning circle is actually pretty decent on it. Went around there in one. Up the top, easy peasy. As normal guys, we've got the, the tricky tree line to finish. <laughs> Very slippery, these leaves are causing causing me some issues today. Plenty of power there in that little motor, fair play to it. Thing said, this this is actually a good test for these little trucks. I'll be leaving links to this little rig in the description below if you want to get yourself one. Ideal little stocking filler. And as always, oh yes, we're up, but we're not facing the right way. As always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. New content every Wednesday and Sunday. It'll be very very. Careful here, do a 93 point turn. Ah, oh, we're back down. Ah, oh. oh, we're facing the wrong way again. We're up there, but we're facing the wrong way. Come on, little critter. It'll be very subtle on reverse. Oh, we're through, I think. For such a small truck, I'm having lots of fun. Fair play. It surprised me today. Bring it back through. Hey, hey, hey. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll see it again, guys. Very impressed with this little critter.
Now time to clean the wellies. Woohoo! If it wasn't it for your wellies. Sparkling. <laughs> Bit of bonus content for you there, guys. Catch you on the next one.